Software maintenance is the fifth topic of the software engineering body of knowledge, and it revolves around delivered software or software that is being delivered. Uh, it's about uh, you know uncovering new defects, uh, changes in the environments, organizational or technical, embracing new user changes and whatnot. Uh, quite often, uh, the classification is used uh, proposed by Lehman uh, in the 80s. Um, and it says basically that any piece of software falls more or less into one of the uh, three categories S type systems, P type, and E type systems. So, S type systems, they are specifiable. It's basically when you have a very clear goal, very clear definition of the problem that you're uh, solving. And this kind of software does not evolve. If you uh, write something to, I don't know, uh, search something in a, in, a, in a substring or in a database, or, uh, uh, I don't know, solve a Sudoku puzzle, then this, uh, uh, this solution doesn't change. It just, it, it works, and you can, you can test it, you can prove that it works, and that's it. P-type system, they are problem solving, so that's less of a Sudoku and more of a chess game. So the solution you propose is kind of good, but it's not uh, perfect. So you cannot prove that it's absolutely uh, the best ever. So it does continuously evolve, uh, because uh, from time to time you come up with new things to do there. And there are also E-type systems, and that's even uh, even more evolvable, and that's something like, I don't know, Facebook, for example, is, is an E-type system. You, it, there, there is no real problem there, but there are many like little problems, and the more you solve, the more um, of them evolve, uh, and the more of them emerge, and the more you need to, uh, uh, to change it. Right, so the fundamentals of software maintenance, uh, of course, uh, this definition that we've just uh, discussed and some terminology that goes with it, uh, the nature of maintenance is are these things that comprise it, like uh, process implementation, uh, uh, problem, and, uh, uh, problem analysis, um, modification, reviewing, acceptance, migration, retirement, stuff like this. Uh, the need for maintenance mainly arises from, you know, fixing bugs or improving design or, again, migration, adapt adaptation, retirement and whatnot. Uh, costs, as it, uh, as it seems right now, that 80% or something of the costs of maintenance, they are coming not from bug fixes, but from, uh, um, you know, non-corrective, Im improving, uh, uh, improving the existing systems. Uh, evolution of software is a very big topic, and again, this Lemon guy uh, proposed uh, several laws of evolution of software, uh, but that's a, that's a topic in itself. Uh, and the categories of maintenance, traditionally, there are four categories, and this is corrective maintenance, when you work towards fixing a problem, the adaptive uh, maintenance, when you uh, adapt to changed uh, requirements or circumstances, uh, perfective when you just make things better because uh, because you have reasons to and preventative uh, when you think one of the other three uh, problems will arise in the future but you kind of act before it becomes a real problem the key issues in software maintenance uh, are the technical issues uh, they mean something like limited understanding of uh, things or I don't know uh, running impact analysis or uh, what kind of maintainability level is your system is at, uh, te testing issues and so forth. Management that's more like uh, how does it fit with the objectives within the organization? Uh, um, who is going to do the, um, the maintenance, uh, so the stuffing, uh, I don't know, outsourcing, these kind of things. Uh, cost estimation, so there are parametric models uh, when people kind of fill in the blanks for, for their systems and then get an answer, and there are models that are based on just experience, so people look at it and say, well, you know, it looks like uh, one day work or one month work. And measurement of software maintenance, that's uh, again boils down to things like analyzability, changeability, testability, stability, and, and whatnot. Uh, the process of software maintenance. So the uh, the process integration. That's uh, the things that we've discussed uh, before, like uh, 
problem analysis, uh, review and acceptance, and uh, uh, my, uh, modification uh, implementation. Uh, they are basically working in a the loop, they're iterative. But if you're retiring a system, then obviously you're you're out of the loop. If you're uh, migrating it to a different platform, you also uh, leave the uh, the cycle. And maintenance activities again, the these are the program comprehension, uh, um, all kinds of things may link to transitioning the system from the developer uh, who like totally understand the system but uh, will probably not be there uh, ten years later. To maintainer, which is sometimes the owner and sometimes a third party, uh, impact analysis, but also you know boring uh, legal things like service level agreements uh, and planning and I don't know, configuration management and things like this. Uh, techniques of for software maintenance. So program comprehension. That's uh, you know understanding, reading code, or maybe using some tools to uh, navigate through the code. Re-engineering when you when you have already a solution but you re-engineer it uh, into into something different. It happens quite a lot with migration, but also can be uh, refactoring or I don't know change, changing the design a little bit to uh, uh, to improve something or to to enable other things. Reverse engineering is when you have uh, so the classic software engineering that's called forward engineering because then you work kind of from the idea toward the system. And reverse engineering goes the other way around. Then when you have a system, then you try to understand what's what was in the what was the intent, what was the design, uh, what was the architecture. And again, it's needed for uh, um, re-engineering and for some some other things when you have like a compiled system but you reverse engineer it to something that you can uh, maintain better. Uh, migration so between platforms uh, uh, usually it's, it's about migrating legacy software to something that's kind of less legacy. And retirement is when you want to get rid of uh, a system but for example it's still in use. Quite a lot of software maintenance tools, uh, metaprogramming environments when you can write programs that do stuff to other programs. Uh, uh, program slicing uh, uh, tools uh, s uh, when you when you kind of can focus on something that's only related to a particular object or particular uh, aspect. Uh, static analyzers uh, uh, these are programs th uh, that analyze uh, source code. Dynamic analyzers they are uh, analyzing like uh, uh, events that happen to the program, the logbooks and stuff like this. Data flow, control flow analyzers, uh, dependency analysis um, tools, uh, transformation tools, and, and whatnot, many of them. Okay, that's it for software maintenance.